Today I'm going to record everything that the Mother Mouse Antoinette says in the book, The, the Tale of Despair. And which accent does she use? A, a French accent. Why? She, she, she came from she, she came from France and she arrived to the castle many years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> this story begins within the walls of a castle with the birth of a mouse, a small mouse. The last mouse to be born in his parents and the only one of his litter to be born alive. Where are my babies? So the exhausted mother mouse when the ordeal was over. Show to me my babies. The father mouse held the one small mouse up high. This is the only, this, there is only this one, he said. The others are dead. Mon Dieu, just the one mouse baby. Just the one. Will you name him? Oh, don't work for nothing, said the mother. She sighed. It is so sad. It is such a disappointment. She was a French mouse who had arrived at the castle long ago in the luggage of a visiting French diplomat. Disappointment was one of her favourite words. She used it often. Will you name him? repeated the father. Will I name him? Will I name him? Of course I will name him. But he will only die like the others. Oh, so sad. Oh, such a tragedy. <laughs> the mother mouse held the handkerchief to her nose and waved it in front of her face. She sniffed. I will name him. Yes, I will name this mouse Despair. For all the sadness, for the many despairs in this place. Now where's my mirror? <laughs> her husband handed her a small shard of mirror. The mother mouse, whose name was Antoinette, looked at her reflection and gasped around. Do listen, she said to Antoinette. Get for me my makeup bag. My eyes are afraid. <laughs> <laughs> While Antoinette touched up her eye makeup, the, the, fa the mouse father put the spur down on a bed made of blanket scraps. The April sun, weak but determined, shone through the castle windows from the squeeze itself through a small hole in the wall and placed one golden finger on his little mouse. The older, the other older mice children gathered around to stare at this bird. His ears are too big, said his sister Marlo. Those are the biggest ears I ever seen. Look, said the brother named Furlow, his eyes are open, Hark, his eyes are open, they shouldn't be open. It was true, the Spurs' eyes were open, or should not have been open, but they were. He was staring at the sun reflecting off his mother's mirror. The, shine, the light was shining onto the ceiling of an oval of brilliance, and he was smiling up at the light. There's something wrong with him, said the father. Leave him alone. The Spurs uh, brothers and sisters stepped away, stepped back away from the new mouse. This is the last, promote Ante Antoinette from her bed. I will all have no more mice, mice babies. They're such a disappointment. They are hard on my beauty. They are ruined for me. My looks. This is the last one. No more. No more. And he'll be dead soon. He can't live. Not with his eyes open like that. But reader, he did live. This is the story. Chapter 2.